All right, guys, I promised you a rant video, so here it is. So yesterday I tweeted this. I had heard there was allegations that EA would be allowing coins to be sold on their own app, which was mind-boggling to me because for years and years and years, they've preached how selling coins is terrible and selling coins is bad for the economy. Selling coins is bad for players. Logged into Mad Mobile today, and lo and behold, you can buy coins with real money. And there's so much wrong with that, and that's the point of me making this video. And trust me, there's gonna be vulgar language, so if you do not approve of vulgar language, I suggest not watching this video. Right here, 500,000 coins is $50. For one, that's a fucking ripoff, you pussies. If you're gonna sell out, at least do it in a decent manner. This article was written last season of Madden Mobile by EA, describing why buying coins is bad, and that they would never endorse buying coins. Buying coins unlevels the playing field. It affects the player economy when the prices of items in the market increase and become unaffordable. When coin buyers buy cheap items in the market, they take away the opportunity to buy affordable items from players who earned their coins legitimately. Then what the fuck is a bundle? Then what the fuck is me buying coins on your app? If I take 10,000 of my dollars and give it to you and buy bundles, how the fuck is that a level playing field? If you, whoever the fuck wrote this, if you believe this, take bundles out of the game, take coins out of the game. Make everything fun and free to play like an app is supposed to be, you cockless fucks. Who in their god forsaken right wrote this stupid shit? Seriously. Have you ever logged into the app? This is such a testament to how goddamn out of touch EA is with their fan base. They don't know what the fuck the player wants. When they wrote this article, they were like, oh my God, coin sellers are ruining the game for everyone. No, you fucks, you're ruining the game for everyone. Do you know why I buy coins? Cause your game sucks thick and it's not free to play. Here's the number one stupidest argument I ever hear ever. If you don't like it, don't play. Fuck you. I love football and I love the idea of fantasy football. Just because the game is made by a shitty company does not mean I don't enjoy the concept. If anyone else could take the rights to EA Sports, do you imagine what 2K would do with Madden? The solution is never to, uh, just quit, dude. I want a better game. I want to play Madden and I want it to be made with pride. I want it to be made by a company who will actually give a full-fledged effort into creating a game that is not based around microtransactions. That is what I want. So I don't care if you think I should quit because you don't like when I complain about EA. MMG, you promote selling coins. Absolutely. Every single dollar that you can take of yours and not give to EA, I am so for it. I would pay 120 to get it off the black market where they sucked it out of fucking a wormhole so that EA doesn't get any money from it. Wholeheartedly. Fuck EA. Buying coins unlevels the playing field. I fully fucking agree. There should be no pay to win system at all. Any pay to win system in a game is absolute bullshit. If I can pay to have something better than someone else, that's bullshit. Here's the analogy I like to make. Can you imagine if you logged into Call of Duty and someone could pay $1,000 to have stronger bullets than you? Or someone could pay $1,000 to have more health than you? That game would be bullshit, no one would play it. That would never fly in something like Call of Duty because the community is way too big. I'm just gonna keep this screenshot here and every time EA Mad Mobile tweets something, I'm gonna reply with that. And I'll see if they block me. Because really all I'm doing is sending them a tweet of something they wrote. My other, this is my, my other point. So in China, they were soliciting these loot boxes everywhere and it became a serious problem. The issue with the loot box and with a pack is it is gambling. It is literally gambling. Gambling is the wagering of money on something or value on an event with an uncertain outcome with the primary intent of winning money or material goods. Gambling thus requires three elements to be present. Consideration, chance, and price. So consideration, you don't have to gamble. You don't have to buy packs and you don't have to buy loot crates. There is a chance you'll get something good and there's a chance you'll get a better prize than what you put in. Now, the other stupid ass argument I hear is, uh, just don't buy, like, why do you even buy packs? Gambling is illegal up until age 21 or 18 in certain casinos because gambling is an addiction. The same way that alcoholism is an addiction, gambling is an addiction. So the stupid ass argument that people make is, uh, just don't buy packs, uh. Walk up to an alcoholic and tell him, uh, just don't drink. Okay, dope, dude. I'll just stop. Thanks for telling me. I had no idea until you told me. I'm not saying I'm addicted to gambling. I'm saying when you expose younger kids whose brains have not developed to the stage where they can make coherent decisions yet, and you throw gambling in front of their faces, it's an issue. It is undeniably an issue. All this is my point is in China, they started having laws that actually cracked down on this. They said, if you're going to have a loot box system, you have to reveal the odds of earning each type of item. The US adopted these exact same laws on the App Store. So in the, in the App Store update that came out about three weeks ago, they said all apps offering loot boxes or other mechanisms that provide randomized virtual items for purchase must disclose the odds of receiving each type of item to customers 
prior to purchase. Where the fuck are my odds, EA? They are intentionally ignoring this. You will never get a response from someone from EA about this. No matter what, you could tweet them every single day until the end of time. You will never get a response about this because they are blatantly ignoring it. In five years, no more than five years, loot boxes, loot crates, all this bullshit will not be in games anymore. It will get taken out. It's a form of gambling. You can't expose kids to gambling. It's going to be gone. And I will be so fucking ecstatic. Closing notes, EA sucks balls. Uh, they're hypocritical as fuck. That's the one thing I can say is if you're a developer, if you're somebody on EA, you know you're not doing good work. You know you're doing work that is solely based around microtransactions. And if you aren't, if you genuinely believe you aren't, then explain this to me. Explain to me that buying coins unlevels the playing field and that you can consciously make buying coins possible in the game. Explain that to me. And after you're done avoiding that question, you can explain to me why you have not released the odds on your packs yet. It's clearly written that all apps must disclose the odds of receiving each type of item to customers prior to purchase. Without saying, you are greedy fucks who have no pride in the game you produce, you can't answer those questions. I love football, and I love the concept of a football video game, and I also love entertaining my fans. But the one thing, if I could change anything, was to give the rights to this franchise to any other game developer in the universe. Five years or less, we'll be out of this hellhole. There will be some sort of restriction. This is not going to be okay. How will I be? I'll be like 24. When I'm 24, I'll check back in on this video. We'll see how we're doing. Sorry to be so negative. Uh, regular videos will resume after this video. So stay tuned. See you guys.